Yes, yeah, so a lot of the studies, a lot of the recommendations are based on muscle protein synthesis, and, and I think that we have possibly overinterpreted a lot of those studies. Now, there was a recent study that showed that the uh, response of muscle protein synthesis to, to protein and exercise at the beginning of training didn't predict muscle growth for over a 16-week period. So that suggests that measuring muscle protein synthesis may not give us uh, the, the best indicator of, of the potential for muscle growth with a certain intervention, with a certain type of protein or a certain type of exercise. However, other studies have clearly showed that in a, in a more trained population that it does predict that muscle, the response to muscle protein synthesis does predict muscle growth. So it probably depends on when in that person's uh, training uh, experience that you do that measure muscle protein synthesis. The complication is that what we'd like to do is long-term training studies where we actually measure muscle growth with these various interventions, but those studies become very problematic because they're very expensive and the control in those studies is difficult for us to then pin down what was actually causing some of those changes. So what I like to tell people is that we do the studies first and, and see what the response to muscle protein synthesis is, and then we, we use that to then decide what we're going to do in longer-term training studies.